Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shesa's Crochet. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful hat. This is very easy and quick. Anybody can crochet this project very quickly. And I have used here a handlebar stitch acrylic yarn. This one I made for adult uh, size, that sort of small size uh, hat and it has the height 9 inches and the head circumferences we have it here um, 20 inches it is stretchable you can crochet any size of the uh, hat using the same pattern if you want to know the sizes i'll give the link below in the description box i have made other videos uh, for different sizes if you want a child 0 to 3 month old or is 3 to 6 months, 6 to 12 months, 12 to uh, 1 year, 2 year old, uh, all sizes I have given um, in some other videos. So I'll give the link below in the description box. You can uh, refer that also. If you're first time to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe uh, along with the bell icon. And matching with this hat, I have uh, made already the uh, blanket as well, baby blanket. That link also I'll provide in the description box. You can go through that. So without further delay, let's start our project. This project, I'm going to use here two colors of yarn. These two colors are acrylic, 100% acrylic DK weight yarn. One is brown color and this one is a beige color. So we'll start the project with the brown color. We'll start this project to the slip knot and we are going to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Yarn over into the third chain from the hook let's insert the hook and then pull up the yarn we got our three loops in our hook yarn over pull through all these three loops this is called a half double crochet again yarn over into the next we'll make one half double crochet yarn over into the next insert the hook and pull up the yarn so we are going to make into each chain one half double crochet stitch. And to the last stitch we will make one half double crochet. Here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen half double crochet stitches. At thirteen uh, half double crochet stitches. Now let's turn the project and into the very first stitch here inside the hook and we'll make one single crochet and then into the second loop of this single crochet we'll insert the hook and pull up the yarn again we'll make one single crochet so we got here two single crochet stitches yarn over instead of these two chains i made here two single crochet stitches it this made one half double crochet yarn over into the very next chain we'll insert the hook back loop we will insert and pull up the yarn yarn over pull through this is a half double crochet into the back loop yarn over into the next insert the hook pull up the yarn so we are going to make into each back loop stitch a half double crochet so here including with these three uh, two chains we got four half double crochet 5 this is the last one last half double crochet so here we have made two rows now this is our first stitch right 
and do the same stitch we'll insert the hook and make one single crochet again go back to the first loop make a single crochet again so we got here two uh, single crochet stitches instead of making these two chains I made here two single crochet sti uh, stitches like this yarn over into the back loop we'll insert the hook and pull up the yarn one two three so we'll get including with this uh, single crochet stitch we'll get 13 half double crochet stitches so we are going to continue the same pattern till we get a desired length for this I have finished 56 rounds of the same pattern we have made into each uh, back loop a half double crochet and it measures it measures 19 inches in length we can stretch this up to 20 21 inches now we are going to join this for that let's keep this yarn like this insert the hook into the very first stitch of the other side so let's insert into this Into this and then insert the hook into the other side the loop and then pull through this we'll make a chain just make it tight now here let's insert the hook into the second loop here you can see the loop and then on the other side we will insert under these two loops and pull this yarn through this again through this chain again insert the hook into this chain and then on the other side under this two loop pull through this again insert the hook into the back loop or the second loop here insert the hook and then on the other side under this two loop pull through this so we are going to repeat till the end of this row and into the last stitch let's insert the hook and make a slip stitch and then we'll make chain one we are going to snip off this yarn just leave a little longer yarn and then we can tie this here so we have joined here the rib Now let's take the second color that's here I'm going to use the beige color let's insert here so let's take this inside out and I'm going to insert the hook into this stitch where we have made the slip stitch insert the hook into this and then we'll pull through this yarn we'll make chain one and then again into the same stitch we'll make one single crochet again into the first here we got two uh, loops for the single crochet insert the hook into the second loop and we'll make one single crochet again insert the hook into this second loop we'll make one more single crochet so instead of making this three uh, chains I made here this three single crochet stitches now yarn over here we have a half double crochet into the next we are going to make a double crochet one then yarn over into the next stitch we'll make one double crochet and then into the next we'll make one double crochet so we are going to continue the same pattern till we get our last stitch in this round we will have 56 double crochet stitches here I have finished the double crochet stitches now let's do the slip stitch into this third single crochet inside the hook and pull through this yarn now let's make three chain one two three yarn over 
this is our first double crochet let's insert the hook into this we are going to make front post double crochet so yarn over pull through this adjust the height yarn over pull through the first two and the second two again yarn over into the next we'll insert the hook pull up the yarn yarn over first two and the second two again into the next we'll make front post double crochet into the next also we'll make one front post double crochet so here we got four front post double crochet now yarn over we are going to next double crochet stitch that's here inside the hook like this so we are going to do back post double crochet pull up the yarn yarn over pull through the first two and the second two again yarn over into the next inside the hook pull up the yarn not into the front post sorry yarn over into the next back post yarn over into the next one back post double crochet yarn over into the next also one back post double crochet yarn over into the next we'll make one back post double crochet yarn over now next we are going to make four front post so we are going to repeat four front post double crochet and four back post double crochet till the end of this row let's make the slip stitch into this front post double crochet this is how our first row looks now now again let's make two three chain one two three yarn over into the front post we'll make front post one two three and four then again yarn over into the four back post we are going to make back post so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row front post to front post back post to back post I have finished the second round this is how our stitch looks like and then we are going to make the slip stitch into the very first double crochet front post double crochet top of this will make one slip stitch now let's make one two three chain yarn over into the next double crochet we'll make one double crochet and into the next one double crochet into the next one double crochet same like this we are going to make into each double crochet stitch one one double crochet now let's do the slip stitch into the first double crochet here now we have now let's make chain three one two three yarn over we'll make four back post double crochet and the previous round we made here front post a uh, double crochet so on this row we will start with back post double crochet yarn over into the same stitch here down let's make back post double crochet one two three and four I will make four front post double crochet one two three and four again we will do a front post a back post double crochet then front post double crochet same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row we are going to repeat the same pattern front post and back post like this we will do two rows again we will make one row of uh, double crochet stitches again here we started off with the front post double crochet here back post then for the next row we'll make four front post double crochet we'll go in an alternative order so here i have finished one two three four five six six squares and then let's measure the size for this we got eight inches uh, height we got we need to have totally nine inches height so now we are going to do the decreasing stitch 
this is the last double crochet stitch now yarn over and do the next double crochet here we have four one two three four and do the next let's enter the hook and pull up the yarn yarn over pull through the first two we didn't close this front post double crochet again yarn over into the next let's insert the hook and pull up the yarn yarn over pull through the first two so we got here now hook three loops now yarn over and pull through these three so these two uh, stitches became now one so we did the decrease again yarn over into the next let's pull up the yarn one and then to the next two so we got a decrease here now into the next this is front post so let's do back post one inside the hook and pull up the yarn one and into the next inside the hook and pull up the yarn two so we did a decrease again into the next two front post double crochets together and two back post double crochets together we are making a decrease so here we got two stitches here two stitches same like this we are going to repeat till the end of this row now let's make into the very first front post double crochet on the top of it one slip stitch again we are going to make three chain one two three yarn over into this front post we'll make front post one and then into the back post we'll make back post again into the front post front post into the back post back post so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row chain 3 yarn over we have here one front post double crochet so let's make here one front post this is our second one and then yarn over back post we are going to make one back post and then next one more back post now here front back post and a front post into this front post back post same like this we will continue till the end of this row into front post to front post and back post now let's make into the very first front post double crochet one slip stitch again chain three one two three yarn over into the same stitch we'll make one double crochet into the next we'll make one double crochet so in this round we are going to make into each double crochet stitch one one double crochet now into the first double crochet let's insert the hook and make one slip stitch again chain three one two three yarn so here now we have first double crochet let's yarn over and insert the hook into this back loop yarn over pull through first two again yarn over into the next also we'll make the back post but we will not close it yarn over we got three loops now hook yarn over pull through the first and then again yarn over into the next insert the hook and pull up the yarn one and two this is a front post decrease again back post decrease one two now front post decrease back post decrease now let's do the slip stitch into the very first double crochet and then chain one we we'll leave little longer yarn and we are going to snip off this let's pull this one through this now we got here we got nine inches we got the height nine inches 
now using this yarn needle we are going to close this hat for that let's insert the needle through this we'll pass through all the double crochet stitches like this This is the last one then also let's insert and then we'll pass this needle through this let's pull this together like this we have closed the cap now we'll pass this needle through this one more time to make a tie then insert the needle through this and we'll take inside And then finally we will make a small knot and we'll snip off this here. So this is how our products looks now. Already I have made one pom pom to attach on it. If you want to know how to make the pom pom easily using the fingers, I'll give the link below in the description box. Just go through that. So you'll be able to uh, see how to make the pom pom very quickly using the fingers. So we are going to attach in this. I'll take this, keep the crown portion. This is our crown portion. Let's keep like this and take this yarn through this. and then the next two strands we will take it on the other side so here this is how the pom pom going to look when we attach i placed it on its correct position i have placed it now we are going to tie on the other side so take like this and using these two strands we are going to tie it very tightly so it will be secured
so here our project is ready this is how our uh, hat looks it's very easy i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please hit the like button share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you